Hello, my friends. This is Spectre 531 coming back at you from the corner. You know what? Today I was reading an article about this jackass, Jeff Fulmer, the president of the police union in Cleveland, having a little bitch fit about this athlete wearing this shirt about wanting justice for Tamir Rice and John Crawford. My friends, let me tell you something. This guy, he's a complete fucking idiot. How dare he have the audacity to demand an apology from this man for wearing a t-shirt that he did not create? He didn't create it. He had the nerve to call this man pathetic and he should just concentrate on what he knows best, the field, and that he doesn't know all about the laws. Bitch, number one, one thing we all know about the law is that murder is fucking wrong. Go look in your little handbook, bitch. Number two, something we all know is that many athletes, many athletes don't become full-fledged national athletes unless they pass college which means they know a whole lot more than this bitch is giving credit for and not to mention the fact to be a police officer and this i know personally you don't have to graduate college hell you don't even have to go to college all you got to do is pass a little physical fitness test and another little written test and let's face it if they like you enough hell that written test you can be sloughed off a little bit you know the bureaucracy goes a long fucking way believe me on that i know this for a fact number three He has the nerve to call this man pathetic for wearing this shirt. That means he's calling each and every single one of you that picked up this same shirt pathetic. And you know what? This bitch is just another conduit trying to cause civil unrest amongst everybody in America. They're just trying to create another civil war again from us. And I mean all of us against those who are so-called in service. But don't let the bullshit fool you, my friends, because there are a lot of good cops. In fact, a lot of great cops, cops you can fucking depend on. But these few bitches that you see, we just have to ostracize them and get rid of them ourselves. Now, I'm not talking about killing them, but I'm talking about you You videotape, you take numbers, you do everything that you have to do, because quite honestly, my friends, if we get rid of these stupid, silly, trigger happy bitches, then we can move on to a much better place for real. And you know what, my friends, specifically on this Tamir Rice case, if you look at the surveillance, because it's still up on the web, really look at it, you will see that these motherfuckers drove straight in and shot this motherfucking kid down. I don't care that this kid was black. I don't care that this kid was just a kid. But the fact that really fucks with me is that he didn't even have a chance. They didn't call out to him. They didn't say a damn thing to him. They just came in, shot him like this was fucking a fucking episode of Menace to Society or Boys in the Hood or something like that. And then just didn't give a fuck. They did not care that this kid only had a toy fucking gun, which is what the initial complaint was. The person called and said, this kid is annoying people while he's holding this little toy gun. They knew it was a toy gun. They made sure the person that dispatched them knew it was a fucking toy gun. Nobody was in fear of their lives or anything. I watched that surveillance video. I skipped through quite a bit of it because three fourths of it, this kid was just sitting in a fucking gazebo doing what 12 year old kids do. But this bitch that shot him down like that deserves to pay. In fact, he deserves to pay with his life, not just his little punk ass job because he took somebody's 12 year old son away from this fucking world. And you know what? That is utter 
bullshit, especially if they decide to let this bitch get away with it. But I'm telling you once again, do not allow this to cause civil unrest where you start rioting the streets and shit. Because I'm telling you something, it's not going to do any fucking good. It's just going to cause a civil war between us and those who are supposedly serving us. And that nobody wins in that. So my friends, calm your hearts. I speak on it because it needs to be said, but by all means, calm your hearts, get that anger down to a minimum level. And in fact, go do something else where you can curb your anger and angst. And my friends, on that note, Spectre's going to tell you to do the one thing that he really needs you to do. That is try to have fun in your lives and try to be happy in them and if you're having a happy life then you're doing it just right but if you're not then by all means bring it to me i'll see what i can do to make you a little bit more cheery this is specter 531 out